I am taking it one day at a time, bringing you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable as I budget my way through life. Okay, so this is the grocery haul. We haven't done this in a while. So, first thing, I don't know how to shop for myself. I've been shopping for pe uh, other people for so long, I don't know what I like. So, last week I did, I went into Earth Fair and Target, tried to figure out what I like in their stores. This week I decided to go to Publix. It was one item I needed that required me to go to Harris Teeter, so I tell you, so I went to those two stores. So, let me tell you before, um, I am sipping on some wine. There we go. And I actually went to this winery last Saturday. So I went to go visit someone and we had brunch. And then on my way back, I was like, I know it's like 10,000 wineries. Pick one, Dean, go to it. So I went into Maps and I put what's nearby. And it sent me to First Weather Vane Winery. Cute little winery. Cute story behind why it's called Weather Vane, which it has something to do with the husband studying meteorology. Not a meteorologist, but he studied it, and it just stuck with him. So he named, they named the winery Weather Vane, and they named all of the wines after something about the weather. This one is Stratosphere, and Stratosphere is a red wine that is good, y'all. It is good. I'll show y'all a picture of that. After leaving there, I was going to keep on going home, but I felt like there was another one. And as soon as I said, you know what, I'm just going to go home, bam, there go advertisement for the other winery off the freeway. So I jumped off, and it was literally right there off the freeway, and it was called Children's. And if you're familiar with race car driving, you know exactly um, about the children's name, you know about number three, and... This was like the most beautiful winery I've ever seen in this area that I have been to, okay? And then it's like, I have to go back and enjoy it. Because of the time I went, I wasn't able to do the year-round wine uh, wines because they were going to be, um, they had to close up early because they had a, a wedding. So I ended up doing the summer wines, which is totally fine. Still got the same experience, just the summer ones. And I wasn't really feeling it, um, the summer ones right now. So it was nice to taste what's out there and the stories behind them. But I'm a red wine drinker and I want to some red wine. <laughs> Though there was some options for the summer ones, I still want to try both of them. So that was my little story. So I'm sipping on that, get my mind right. So let me tell you what I got at Publix and why. There's, with no meal plan, going into Publix. It's a disaster. If you know you struggle with shopping for groceries, meal plan, make a list, go to the store. I was, and for me, because I don't know, I just have been sticking with don't go to the store on an empty stomach. Because when you go to the store on an empty stomach, you're going to pick up things based on what you think you want at that present time so no meal plan but I in my mind knew that I was gonna buy from Monday through Sunday Publix had a eight dollars off the thirty dollars eight off thirty so I said let me go to Publix and because of that I said let me stick with what's happening on each day so Monday is Labor Day so I We'll be home. I decided to pick up something I haven't picked up in a while. And that was catfish. And this one was the Cajun one. And I just wanted a half a pound. I told the girl that. But she kept holding so thin and just kept putting them in there. So it's probably like five fillets in here. They're really thin. Um, but it ended up being a pound. I'm going to pair that. And I'm going to fry that. Because I haven't had a fried fish in a while. Well, that's a lie. When I went last Saturday doing brunch, I got some fried catfish. But I haven't cooked none in a while. So I'm this one gonna have. I'm a pair with coleslaw. Usually I buy the shredded cabbage and then I make my own sauce, but I decided just make a small one because I don't want that extra cabbage just laying around for nothing. Um so here we go, and I'll doctor this up to my liking. Also on Monday, I'm going to do a spaghetti. So I picked up a chuck ground beef. Now, this was like a little bit over a pound, but I didn't need a pound. 
because I don't plan on making that much spaghetti. And so I went to the butcher and said, can you take some of this off? That's another tip. You know, engage a butcher, engage someone in the meat department to find out what you can and can't do. As well in the produce. Don't buy all the whole cantaloupe when you don't want the whole cantaloupe. If they have options, if you see options in them, and they will sell it. They, they do sell things half. So they sell things in slices. Ask them. They can do it. They're the ones that package it. If it comes with the brand of the store, they're packaging in store. So he was able to take some out for me. I picked up this Numa's Own Organics Marinara. Never had this before, but and it wasn't like a sell or nothing. It's just I never had it, and I said, mm, let me try and see what this is about. And of course, like I said, I didn't want all of the spaghetti. Because I thought at one point they had like a small one, eight ounce ones. But maybe they had it eight ounce in a different store in not spaghetti. Not sure. But um, I got this, but I need this to be out of my house before I start the JJ Smith for my challenge. Because pasta is my kryptonite. And I need it out because I'm hungry. And I want to. So to stay with the theme of Tuesday being Tex Mix. I end up picking up these aprons meal for one and it's the chicken I'm looking at the wrong one this is the pepper jack cheese stuffed chicken with the Mexican style street corn and cheese so this is literally enough for me probably I won't eat the whole thing more than likely this feel like one big one but we'll see when I open it up if it's thin because it could be just folded up so that's Tuesday on Wednesday, I'm just going to do this uh, another meal for one. This is the cordon, chicken cordon bleu with roasted baby potatoes. And I like that they come in these tin foils so I can take the plastic out and put them in there. And easy cleanup. Love that. So that's on Wednesday. On Thursday, I already have a salmon burger and some sweet potato fries and buns in my freezer. I also have some sweet potatoes that I can cut up myself. And we'll see what we do in regards to that. So that is going to be Thursday. On Friday, I'm just going to do pizza. So I have my man roasted garlic bread. I did have to pick up a mozzarella cheese. And I'm not going to use all of this for the spaghetti. I'm going to use a portion for the pizzas as well. Also, during the week for lunch, I bought a pack of hot dogs that I thought probably was going to be here, but it's not. But So I need to get those out the way. So I bought some hot dog buns to go with those, I think it's called them sausage dogs. Hot dog, okay? <laughs> and so now I'm leaving Publix. That's when I got a Publix. I'm leaving Publix. I knew that I was going to Harris Teeter because I have to get my alkaline water and this one has been working. Like, I've tried other ones, but this one actually has been working for my acid reflux. And it, it tastes well. So, it's not like, it's not hard for me to drink it. So, I did pick that up, and then I realized I don't have no mustard. So, I was in there, I have seen this top EMS mustard. It's for 49 cents. It looks like it's a Kroger brand because it just says distributed by Kroger. And I'm not sure if Kroger is the parent company of Harris Teeter or the other way around, but I'm I'm glad I seen this, 49 cent, why not? Then in here, see, I realized I need some more ketchup. I think, cause my ketchup has, you know, started making that sound. And so, you know, you need some more. But I don't like this type of bottle. This was the cheaper one, um, but it had like no artificial preservatives. And I checked the back just to make sure. And it don't, you have to make sure. But, so I'm gonna take this, I'm actually gonna pour it in the other one to make, because uh, I like the shorter ones and I like how I kept it like this because I don't like all that oil and stuff. Okay, so on Saturday, we fend for ourselves. Sunday, I'll be volunteering, so I know they're going to be feeding us. I don't have to figure it out for myself, which I'm totally fine. And this is my grocery haul. Very short, sweet, and to the point. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Share this with someone who you think this would be helpful for, especially someone who's transitioning like me from 
cooking for multiple people to cooking for one or cooking for less people than it in or meal planning or grocery shopping for less people than they actually have in the past peace out Jesus.